of uh, a state who is supposedly a ACN and in opposition federally. What's your thought about what has been happening? Looking at it as a Nigerian, what's your thought about what's been happening in River State? Let me say prestissimo, that is as quickly as possible, that the political crinkum crankum, or if you like, the political higgy haga that has enveloped the politics of River State for a period of time now, has all the trappings of an odoriferous odor saga. Kum gagatuan gaga. And I am maniacally bewildered that this flashpoint is of no serious concern to the commander in chief of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. This is because all the flashpoints of war that has snowballed and transmogrified into bringing about a calamitous end for Nigeria. Always had their terminus aqua, their source of origin that is, either in one state or in one region. For me, as far as I am concerned, I can see the ship of the Nigerian state hovering around the political Bermuda Triangle. And if we do not take very urgent and responsible to meander the interstices of a suable catalyst, landmines, waterfronts, icebergs, and oxbow lakes. The shape of the Nigerian state just now has all the capacities and possibilities of birthing in the, in the, in the disastrous and pestilential aqua of a terminus aqua. Let me say, let me say, that my critical history and historiography of the study of the war of attrition and belligerency in River State did not commence with the obi war political tendency. It commenced, strictly speaking, with the suspicion by some power centers that Governor Rotimi Ameshi nurses an ambition for the vice presidency of this country. So are you saying this, all of this is happening because of the 2015 election? Oh, it's, 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 it's very crystal clear, like the Babilika Teke Teke Mene Yufasi is, is audible to the deaf and visible to the blind. And in any case, no less a political personage than the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Jonathan, has been heard to have confirmed that. How? That two, he said so. We, 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 we read that in the papers that 2015 is the faucet origo of this crisis, is the faucet origo of the political tension in the country. And he urged political dramatist personnel to put their sheets in their cell that 2015 is still far away. But if you look at the totality, the totality of the crisis in River State just now, it leaves me with just two conclusions. One, that 2015 is inherently leading with a political and democratic talidomide. Two. So talidomide will be? Still, still born. Okay. It will be still born. Okay. Two. Where are some social scientists like myself? I've gone to town for donkey years now saying that what we have is not a democracy, but what we have is civilian rule. But by recent events, I'm, I'm even tempted to say, no, 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 no. Nigeria is neither witnessing civilian rule, nor is Nigeria witnessing even democracy. What we have at best is a form of government I call Kakisto Mobo plutocracy. And that is bad for the nation. Is it within the Obi Okbo contest? Is it within the NGF election contest? Where 16 persons are more than 19 persons. If within the microscopic ceramics and cadence of the deceased governors who are supposed to be suzerains of democratic ethics and ethos in their respective terrace of mass, you cannot adjudge 
democratic scores. So how? We 